Hey guys, what I have here is a JX75 John Deere and uh, what I'm doing is I'm removing the blade clutch assembly. That's this guy right here. As you can see it's pressed in there with a the keyway. And this is the new one. So what you have to do loosen up the engine from the actual body because um, this arm here has to clear it needs about an inch and a half so once you got that take the recoil off and I uh, use a ratchet and a socket to hold the crank from turning this is important or also just keep spinning and the most important thing in order to pull this thing out is this bolt right here it's an M14 metric it's not a fine thread um, I don't know the pitch number but as you can see it's not fine it's just a regular M14 um, the one I have here is a um, Allen key head but what you want is a, is a hex head it's easier for you to thread it on I had to uh, grind down the head here in order to get a good pair of vice grips, in order to keep turning it. But um, it's on there pretty good. <laughs> As you can see there, the crankshaft is all rusted. So it's on there pretty good. But um, hold the engine on this side, and you keep turning it on here. And this bolt is going to push up against the crankshaft, and uh, in turn, the clutch is going to move out. And then you're left with this. So basically, it threads. Threads into there. I took the front. I took the front off of this to make it easier. But anyways. Yeah, that's it. Um, I looked everywhere online, and there is no special tool for this that I know of. And um, looking at it closely, I found the only um, reasonable option is that there's got to be a reason why there's threads located there. And um, all I do is purchase a bolt, keep threading it in, and it pushes the clutch off. From the crankshaft and that's it